Have you got a brochure with you? Yeah. Or else you can uh, download it from online. So uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm Dr. Celine Ho, Deputy Program Director for um, the Master of Science in Marketing Management. And uh, today, a warm welcome to Polly Yu and also, you know, to um, our Master of Science program. And uh, I guess most of you are from, may I just have an idea where you're coming from? From Hong Kong, from mainland China, from Macau. Oh, Macau, Macau, from Hong Kong and Hong Kong as well. What about the gentleman? Also from Hong Kong. Okay. Uh so um, right now I'm, you know, apart from being the deputy program director, I'm also teaching uh, marketing management or marketing related subjects uh, in the master uh, courses. And also I'm teaching MBA as well. So uh, if you have any questions, you know, during my introduction, please feel free to ask and you don't have to save the question to the last. Uh, I think different Different professor may have different preference, but I'm more, you know, open-minded. Uh, and I always believe that it, it's good to have an interactive section. So just stop me anytime if you have questions. So uh, it looks quite scary with a long agenda, uh, but basically it's the small sections that I'm going to touch today. And uh, just to share with you, this is uh, the latest data based on the, um, the last intake of students of 55 students uh, in our master program uh, with major in marketing and management. So you can see the average age, uh, more female, uh, and also the average year of work experience is, is around seven. And uh, the breakdown in terms of, you know, like uh, from Hong Kong, China, Macau, and uh, some from Australia as well. And the aims of the program is to enable non-marketing graduates to connect theory with practice in the field of marketing. And it covers a wide range of marketing issues such as online consumer market analysis, managerial issues in marketing, analytical methods for market research, global marketing strategy. Just, you know, this is just a few of the examples. And uh, we have a number of, you know, learning outcomes and learning objectives. Uh, first of all, we want to enable and equip our students uh, be able to solve business problems, understand the principles and practice of management and marketing, and develop entrepreneurship uh, to apply theories to solve business problems um, by, you know, referencing a lot in terms of technologies and AI. And secondly, is the analysis of customer value. We want to help you analyze the process of creating and improving customer value for better marketing planning. And thirdly, analyze of consumer behavior. We want 
to you know able to help you evaluate consumers' pur purchase decision making process and implications on strategy and practice. Last but not least, additional expertise in selected areas of marketing management uh, basically help students develop additional expertise uh, in areas such as you know international management, e-commerce. Um, as you can see, I don't need to you know uh, outline everyone, but uh, I'm sure some of them you might be interested. Technology innovation and management, social media marketing, all these are very you know topical uh, issues facing the commercial world, and we are offering you know these special courses. So special features about our program are including conversion program, diverse elective subjects, and also we have very good teaching faculty in marketing, including myself. Program details. We offer a mode, uh, a mixed mode of study. FT refers to full-time and PT refers to part-time. So uh, we provide a lot of flexibilities for you to choose. Uh, in either one of the study loads in different semesters. Uh, just out of interest, um, do you have any preference? Like, are you looking for part-time or full-time study? Full-time? 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 Same. Oh, okay, so all of you are looking for full-time study. So maybe I can focus a little bit more on that area. And duration for full time, which you are mostly interested, are uh, around 1.5 years. And uh, just for your information, if you opt for part time, as some of our students, they have a daytime job. So they will take evening classes or weekend classes that will stretch to about 2.5 years. And uh, so for you, since you're interested in full time, uh, You'll be taking lectures and classes usually uh, from Monday to Friday, usually, with exceptions of one or two classes on Saturday. Uh, but mostly it's on weekday and daytime, mostly. And um, in terms of the program structure, there are 31 credits uh, that are required, uh, including four compulsory subjects. I'll talk a little bit more about the compulsory subjects and six elective and one ethnic subject. And uh, or you can go a second route, which is four compulsory subjects, two elective subjects instead of six, one ethic subjects, and one more subject of research methods and a dissertation. So this will be a very different route from the first one. Uh, the second one, it's, you know, there will be more emphasis on the dissertation, which you have to do it on your own. It's not a group project. It's not a group dissertation. It's, it will have to be, you know, conducted and completed by yourself with the help of the supervisor. Okay. And uh, for those who are unable to complete the Master of Science, the MSc program, uh, may graduate with a postgraduate diploma upon completing uh, seven subjects. Seven times three is 21 credits. So in, uh, in some cases, it's like, you know, uh, some of the students may have some health issue. Uh, you know, it's, it's very difficult to, you know, to, to tell. Sometimes, you know, you might have some disease or you're not feeling well. So uh, that's usually the case why some of the students can't complete the MSc and they have to stop in the middle because of, you know, uh, the, the medical treatment. And that's why this is, you know, the fallback solution. Of course, as a teacher, I would like to see all of you graduate. So this is just a fallback option. Okay, uh, remember we have the non-dissertation option and the dissertation option as per the previous slide. Um, for the four compulsory subjects, here are they. Uh, organization and management, O&M, marketing management, 
introduction to customer value and consumer behavior. These four are compulsory. And the uh, ethics, business ethics is also compulsory, but that's only one credit. These are the list of elective subjects that you can pick and choose. So uh, assuming you are interested in the non-dissertation option, then you can choose any six subjects. Can you see that? Or if you want, you can sit in front so that you can see the, the small prints clearly. Is it okay? Can you see at the back? Or, or else you can just move around. I'm very flexible. So these are the list of subjects. Uh, you might, you know, if you have a sharp pair of eyes, you'll see the last one, uh, career workshop, MSc career workshop, which carries zero credit. I'll talk a little bit more, which is, uh, I would say, a, a differentiator of our program. Uh, and if you're interested in the dissertation option, uh, you can choose any two of the uh, elective subjects, and then you have to um, take a, le a lesson on research methods, which is three credits, and then you have to complete a marketing management dissertation, which carries nine credits. So all together, you know, uh, arriving at the, you know, same number of credits, 31. Okay, so far so good. Usually these are the areas with, you know, most questions from the students. Any questions so far? Clear? Okay. And uh, this is the suggested progression pattern for part-time mode. Uh, since you are most interested in full-time, so maybe I'll skip this one. Okay. Okay, this is uh, more the your, your area of interest. Uh, normal du duration, 1.5 years, but you can see a small note underneath. Uh, I have seen students completing uh, the master program in one year instead of 1.5 years. So basically what you need to do is you have, you have to take more subjects per semester. So because basically they're only you know, three semesters. Semester one is from um, basically, you know, from uh, September to December. And then semester two, two is from January to around April, May. So if you take more subjects, then you'll be able to, you know, graduate or complete your master degree quicker than the usual 1.5 years. So the more you input, the quicker you can get the gradu graduation certificate. So it's fair. Uh, some elective subjects may be offered in summer term. Summer term is around like June, July. And uh, subject to the av availability of lecturers or professors. So uh, this is an optional semester. So to play safe, you should try to take your subjects in semester one and two. That will be more secure. Okay, this is the uh, interesting part. I think uh, that sets us apart or differentiate us from other programs or other universities. Uh, remember, we have the zero credit uh, the career development. Basically, if you are, you know, admitted as our student, uh, you will be offered a lot of, you know, these um, career development opportunities. Uh, basically, we have a program called LIFT, L-I-F-T, Leadership Initiative for Future Talents, LIFT. Uh, and it has, you know, uh, a number of uh, different elements, including professional coaching. So it will everything here will be free of charge. Uh, it's an additional bonus to your learning journey. Uh, what we believe in our department is that uh, academic foundation is like if you are building a... Let me see if I can... Oh, okay, I don't have anything to draw. If you're building a, a temple or if you're building a... Um, um, 
uh, uh, construction, you need a foundation, which is the academic foundation. And that's, you know, everything that you can select from our courses. You have all the academic foundation at the bottom. And then if you want to be a leader, if you want to be a successful businessman or woman, you need to have, you know, above the academic foundation. We want to equip yourself with all the career service skills, skill set and mindset. And that's why we have all these, you know, programs, uh, activities lined up for you, including professional coaching. Uh, basically, you know, for those students who have started their um, uh, academic journey in September, uh, they will be offered a one-to-one -one coach, a one-to-one -one coach. Uh, professional coach. They are not, you know, um, the lecturers and professors. They're actually, you know, executives with professional coaching certificate. So uh, it will be like a one-to-one -one mentorship so that, you know, if you have any questions regarding your study or regarding your future career, you can talk to your coach. Uh, and apart from that, we also have a number of networking events uh, so that you are not just, you know, sort of like study in an ivory tower. In Chinese, we always say, you know, you, you, you live or study in an ivory tower. But we want you to get to know your fellow students, your alumni, uh, coaches, as I mentioned, mentors, and also industry contacts. In fact, this morning, before coming to, you know, uh, this sharing section with you, I just arranged a uh, seminar for the current master students. Uh, and I've invited the vice president of the Institute of Hong Kong um, HR Management uh, to come and share with our students about the preparation of CV and the preparation of interview. What are the do's and don'ts? And what are the best practice of attending a job interview? So this, is, this was exactly what I did this morning for uh, I think around 100 students register from the master classes. So next year, if I see you, if you get admitted to our program, uh, I'll be organizing this seminar again because uh, the feedback from our master student this morning was overwhelmingly good. And they have learned so much from the guest speaker. So these will be, you know, some of the activities that will be, that will be uh, arranging and organizing for our master students. In addition, to your academic foundation. So these are just, you know, some of the pictures, photos, says a thousand words, uh, the professional coaching. Uh, and also we have, you know, seminars. And this was uh, one of the mindfulness walk. Uh, it took place at Kaduri Farm. Has any one of you been to Kaduri Farm? Uh, even though for those who are from Hong Kong, uh, you may have heard about Gadolelongchang, but you may not have been there. So uh, we have an this is more like an ESG. The you know ESG, the uh, environmental, social, and governance activity uh, that we you know actually organize uh, activities at these you know ESG farms so that we can get to know our environment better and also some of our, our ESG responsibility. Uh, that's me as well. Uh, that was during COVID. That's why people were wearing masks. Uh, I was teaching uh, business etiquette and table manner. Uh, I believe even in uh, secondary school or high school, you don't have that kind of uh, training. So I've, I will arrange another workshop with the master students in November. Um, so again, if you're admitted, I think I'll see you again next year with, you know, these table manner and business etiquette training workshop. Um, and if you attended uh, in external organizations, usually they charge you uh, a very handsome fee because it's very expensive. Uh, we've also arranged company visits. Uh, this is to uh, one of my good friends uh, from... Um, the museum, talking about the museum industry. And uh, this is uh, one of the our events of the professional networking events at PolyU with alumni and industry uh, practitioners. 
So in a nutshell, we want to build a supportive community uh, for our students. Uh, it's not just about, you know, uh, finishing the 31 credits. We want you to be an all-rounded executive so that after your master program, after you graduate, uh, you have all the skill sets and the right mindset for a brighter future. So that actually happened last week. Uh, I, I was in the middle as well. Uh, I, these are new... Um, new master students who just joined in September. So it was a local community tour of Hong Kong, uh, getting to know about the ethnic minorities and also different religions in Hong Kong. And uh, some others are you know, like networking with industry, with uh, executives from big corporations, etc. cetera. So... Uh, so much so regarding the, you know, the career service development program, uh, back to the assessment method. Uh, we have individual and group assignments, exams, quizzes, uh, term project, presentation, and class participation. And uh, credit transfer. Students may be given credit for previous post-grad study relevant to the current programs. Uh, you can apply for credit transfer upon initial enrollment of the program. And the validity period of subjects earned is eight years from the year of attainment. Um, that means, you know, if you have uh, got the um, subjects earned nine years ago or 10 years ago, that would be, you know, that would not be counted as the transfer. And credit transfer will count towards credit requirement for the award. Entrance requirement, a bachelor degree or is relevant in any discipline. Relevant work experience is preferred and GMAT is not required. I believe many of you may should have worked before. No? Fresh grad from undergrad, from bachelor degree, fresh grad. Any working experience? No? Working experience? Just, just out of curiosity. Any working experience? A year, okay. So uh, we prefer wor working experience, including intern. Intern is also counted. Uh, you've done intern before, right? So that's that's counted. Uh, I think the major reason for that is because uh, when you, you know, mingle with other students, uh, a lot of them, uh, they actually have got working experience. And uh, it would be, you know, more interesting in terms of, you know, the the dimension, the perspective of looking at, you know, marketing and business. So that's why we have that as uh, one of our preferred requirements. But we do have some exceptions. Uh, if you are actually, you know, you can demonstrate you are very, very uh, sort of like encouraged to join the program through the interview, we can consider on an exceptional basis. English language requirement. Applicants should possess one of the English qualification prescribed below, uh, including TOEFL and uh, IELTS. So these are the minimum score and also the qualification and um, English test result attained from TOEFL IBT Special Home Edition, uh, may be accepted if applicant could upload proof to show they have genuine difficulty taking the IFO or IOS in a testing center under the COVID-19 pandemic. Tuition fee um, for the uh, local and the non-local students, you can see uh, the program fee here and the uh, credit in terms of Hong Kong dollars. Continuing Education Fund. This is more for those applicants from Hong Kong. Uh, if you are from Macau, I think you are, this is not eligible. Uh, some subjects have been included in the list of reimbursable courses under uh, CEF. Uh, I think, have you heard of CEF, those who are coming from Hong Kong? Uh, I think the government has, you know, the Hong Kong government has uh, arranged a certain sum of money for for Hong Kong citizen to reimburse. 
And so the program, our program, MSc in Marketing Management, is recognized under the QF Qualification Framework Level 6. So you can reimburse part of the program fund. Okay. Uh, last but not least, uh, application deadline is uh, April 30th next year, and you can apply online and selected applicants will be invited for interview. And uh, our planned number of intake is around 55 per year. And uh, class will begin next year in early September, usually on a Monday. And uh, if you have any inquiries, you can uh, um, let us know. Uh, program director is Dr. Zhang Shubing, uh, whom I've worked very closely with. And or you can also call our office, the administration staff uh, will be happy to take any questions and uh, Q&A. So since we have a small group, so uh, maybe it's easier to, to have, you know, question and answers. Any, any questions so far or is pretty much clear? Curious, you are you. Where where did you graduate? In uh, Macau, you graduate in Macau or in overseas countries? In Macau, University of, oh, University of Science and Technology. Oh, uh, how many universities in Macau now? Is it two or four? Four. Okay, uh, the oldest one is University of Macau, right? And then uh, U.S. is University of Science and Technology, right? The, I think I've only been to uh, University of Macau. Uh, that was many years ago when I represented uh, Hong Kong U uh, in the badminton uh, contest. So we went to University of Macau to play badminton with their with their university badminton team. That was like long time ago. So I've never been to your university. So you're a fresh grad, both of you. Okay. And you're from Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Hong Kong as well. So any questions so far? It's pretty clear. Yeah. Are you considering a few other programs or you are very much... Uh, determined to to study marketing and management. Hmm? Marketing. Oh, you you really want to yes. focus on marketing, and uh, that's where you want to your career to be. I think so. Mm -hmm. Uh, just to share with you, uh, for example, like myself, uh, I actually started teaching at Poly U last year. Uh. Apart from, you know, um, of course, you know, I I, I graduated uh, with my bachelor degree at Hong Kong U and uh, I've completed my PhD here at Poly U. But before I joined Poly U as a, as a professor, I've work, actually worked in the commercial world for over 20 years. So I have a lot of uh, real life business commercial experience. I've worked in the marketing field for over 20 years in uh, airline, in bank, and also in uh, in a monopoly, China Light and Power. So, so that's why uh, I really enjoy, you know, teaching students because I can share, always, you know, use my real life uh, commercial experience uh, to share with them. When I teach them theory, models, theories, I can always use real life business case to demonstrate the theories. And that's why the students also like me a lot uh, because it's not just about, you know, theory, it's about application as well. And especially if you are interested in working in the marketing world, uh, it has to be, you know, not just theory, you need to apply. So we have the uh, the whole faculty. You know, of course, I'm not the only teacher. There will be other teachers as well. They have a lot of good experience in different areas. So that's why I'm sure you can learn from the faculty, from from all the different teachers. Hey. 
So any any questions from uh since we have two Winnie, I've rough basically finished the, the PowerPoint, but since we have two uh newcomers, maybe I'll just pick and choose a few slides to go through with them. Yeah. Yeah. Any any question? No. Uh for those two new joiners, uh just um to check with you, are you from Hong Kong or from Macau or from mainland China? Mainland China. From Hong Kong. Okay. So uh in the interest of time, we have uh, already, you know, completed the sharing, but I'll highlight uh, some key areas for you. And for those who who have already, you know, finished listening, you can uh, you can stay behind or you can move around uh, in the campus as well. So uh, feel free to to stay or feel free to leave. So um, let me. Are you interested in full-time or part-time? Full-time? Part-time. Oh, okay. okay. Let me go back to... This is the original topic for today. Uh, but in the interest of time, I won't go through every agenda, but I'll highlight the key ones that are relevant to you. Uh, this is the student profile of the latest intake who just started the Master of Science program in marketing management uh, in September last month. So average age is about 29 with more females. Guess it's because it's marketing field and average year of work experience is seven. And you can see the, you know, most of the students are from Hong Kong, mainland China and Macau. And the program aim is to enable non-marketing graduates to connect theory with practice in the field of marketing. And uh, learning objectives, we want to enable you to solve business problems, analyze consumer value, consumer behavior, and also you can have additional expertise in selected areas of marketing management. Uh, for full-time and part-time, uh, we have, you know, a mixed mode of study and uh, maybe that would be easier to understand. For full-time, usually students uh, will graduate within 1.5 years. For part-time, it's 2.5 years because you have a daytime job. So for part-time, usually you will, uh, the class will take place in the evening or weekend like Saturday, mostly Saturday. For full-time, uh, it will be weekdays, Monday to Friday, usually daytime. And uh, program structure, 31 credits. Uh, and maybe I can go to, yeah. For the 31 credits, you have to take, you know, four compulsory subjects. These are the four compulsory subjects. O&M, marketing management, introduction to customer value and consumer behavior, plus one more credit of ethics. And these are the list of elective subjects. And you can choose between uh, two routes. One route is non-dissertation option. Most of the students take this route. Uh, a small percentage will take the dissertation route. So it's really up to you whether you want to, you know, uh, go either direction. And uh, if you are going in this, in this, you know, non-dissertation mode, you need to select six subjects out of, you know, all these available ones in the elective subject pools. And uh, if you are interested to do in uh, dissertation, uh, the dissertation itself will carry nine credits, but you also need to take the research methods plus two more electives. Uh, you can stop me anytime for any question. Okay. And uh, usually, you know, that's how the uh, part-time mode uh, will line up. And the full-time mode and as I said, 
before, uh, I think one of the differentiator between our program and other universities or other faculty is that we have provide, apart from the academic foundation, apart from all these, you know, all these subjects that you need to take, uh, we will also provide a special program called LIFT, Leadership Initiative for Future Talents, LIFT, which is a career development program. And we offer, for example, like, you know, professional coaching service, one-on-one -on -one basis, free of charge. So uh, it's, again, it's on a voluntary basis. Uh, if you raise your hand, if you register, you want to have a coach, they're professional coaches uh, to look after your study and also your career, then you can sign up for this program. And apart from that, we also have, you know, seminars. We have a, a, a number of like ESG environmental walks, company visits, uh, skill set development workshops. Uh, that's me. Um, that was last year. Uh, and when most people have to wear masks, uh, I was teaching uh, business etiquette and also table manner. So this is, uh, as I told, you know, the, the other students, uh, potential students is, you know, apart from building a strong academic foundation, uh, our vision is to enable you to learn a lot of these career development skills, skill set, so that, you know, when you, after you graduate, you look for another new job, you'll be more competitive. Uh, and we have a lot, uh, a lot of activities with the alumni, uh, with uh, a lot of the industry practitioners from different companies. And uh, this actually happened last week when we had the, uh, because a lot of our students are from mainland China. So uh, they may not get to know Hong Kong too well. So that's why we've arranged a uh, local community tour. Uh, to understand a little bit more about the different ethnic minorities in Hong Kong and also the cultural, the, uh, the religious, the cultural background of uh, Central and Shen Wan. So assessment method, uh, we have all these, you know, different assessment methods. And uh, credit transfer, it's also can be considered if it's within eight years from the year of attainment. Entrance requirement, uh, that may be more relevant to you. Uh, any bachelor degree from recognized university in any discipline, relevant work experience is preferred. GMAT is not required, but we need uh, your English qualification with the minimum score, minimum requirement as follows. So far, so good. And a tuition fee for the new intake. And uh, if you are from Hong Kong, you can apply for the CF funding for some of the courses, not all the courses. And application deadline, end of April next year. Please apply online if you're interested. Uh, selected applicants will be invited for interview. And uh, usually for number of intakes is around 55 per year uh, for our MSc program in marketing and management and class will begin next year in early September. So if you have any questions, you can ask me now or you can, you know, always contact the office. And I think uh, if you want, you can follow us on LinkedIn. So you can scan the QR code, you can follow us uh, on LinkedIn and get to know more information about our program. And also, if you like to receive updates uh, from the Faculty of Business about future seminars, workshop, uh, you can also scan the QR code and give us, you know, your email address, your name, and then we can send you an uh, update from the Faculty of Business. Okay, so any any further questions? Any any questions or oh, it's pretty clear? You have questions? Yeah. 
during the time of the last one, can I can I defer for half years or something? If you have a uh, placement or something. Oh, you mean like job placement? So can you defer your study for uh it will be on a case to case basis, so you have to apply through the office uh, with you know with the reason of your defer. Like as I mentioned before, you know, you sometimes there are different reasons like uh job placement or health health issues, health problems, then you know that will be on an individual basis. You have to apply for the deferment. Of course, you can't just say, oh, I, I just don't feel like studying for the next six months, so I just want to defer. Then that won't be accepted. But if there's a genuine reason, uh, we'll always consider. Okay? Yeah. Okay? No further questions? Uh, if if you're too shy to ask, it's okay. Uh, you can always, you know... Uh, um, send us emails uh, so this is the you can capture this one as well you can always call our administration for application related matters uh, they are operated uh, Monday to Friday during office hour okay any other questions so look forward to seeing you in my class and uh, as I said you know it's uh, it's it's not a big class, 55 people, uh, but I can see a lot of smart people there, uh, very, very uh, passionate about marketing and management. And I do enjoy, you know, teaching the students here. And I hope my experience, work experience in the commercial world uh, can inspire our students to do better in future. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Oh, me, yeah. Oh, oh this uh, I think I have the best hour point. I've worked in the commercial world for twenty plus years. No regret. I've learned so much. I've learned so much in the industry, in the airline industry, in the banking industry. I've learned so much. And all these are very useful. So, uh, would come? I think I'm in a different life stage now. I think when I was young, I was very technological. Is that young? Yeah, when I was young, like it was just like.